Hey yo, what is up all my fellow fighters? Amy Warren Woman 2 back at you with another playthrough of The Walking Dead. When we last left off, we are d were down at the river with Kenny and we were trying to use a scope to look around, but we can't because we don't have any coins, so we need to go look for one. I have no idea where we're going to find one, but I guess we can go look around. So let's do it. I'm gonna go have a look around, because I have no idea just where in the hell we're gonna find a coin. It's not in the cash register, because we already checked there before. And I'm gonna talk to Kenny, see if he's got any idea. Crap, going the wrong way. Sorry. It's been about a week since I played this thing. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Hmm. Well, the, the register isn't going to have any. What about the newsstand? Locked. Oh! We can bash it open. There's a coin! Nice! Little vandalism never hurt anything. <laughs> Especially for a good cause like this. <clears throat> Alright, let's go take a look through that scope, shall we? Fuck! What's, What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. Oh, great. You can't fix it? What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. This thing is moving just a little too fast. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. What the hell? There's someone up there. What the shit? The hell? What the hell is that? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Not a good idea. We're not looking for trouble. Come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look. This could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. I don't like it. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Wow, he's good. Oh, shit. I didn't react fast enough. Sorry, guys. No! Clem? Please, don't hurt him! Who the hell is that? You're not 
from Crawford. The chick? Whoa, who is she? Have you been following? Have you been following us? Following you? Easy, Ken. Kenny, don't! Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? What's Crawford? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. Sure, you want to know? I don't think so. When everything started going to shit, I'm some people me. got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, <sighs> stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So, how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Really? Why no children? No children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. Of course. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's, not how, we do That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. I hate to say it, but she's not wrong. If you can't pull your own weight, then you're useless. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Lovely. All right, Glenn. Who's been ringing the bells? Who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it. Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are... Ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks for it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Hmm. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That was pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take it much is. to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're looking for a boat. Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here. Find something safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. 
since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Uh -oh. Great. Who's in that? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a. Hey, you're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please! the video there we will continue this and um, I mean I'm gonna pause the game there we're gonna continue this in the next video that was intense and terrifying but hopefully we can get him out of there safely so thank you all so much for watching if you like what you see please hit that thumbs up video please hit that thumbs up button because it really does help me out and yes my thumb is covered in bandages that's because I carved my hand up pretty bad at work um if you have any suggestions or any ideas or whatever to make this channel better, please feel free to shoot them at me. I accept any kind of, any kind of, um, you know, anything, any friendly criticism or anything. I'll accept anything that you guys have to say. If you think it'll make the channel better, I'd love to hear it. So, thank you all so much for watching. This is Enemy Warrior 112, signing off. See you around, all my fellow fighters. Peace.